Okay, hello, welcome to this video, and uh, I uh, realized that something today in the past couple days with the heat, there's no way I can ever survive in New Jersey, all right, because, and I made another video uh, 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 that, I, that I ranted on, and I, like I said, I'm not doing any more of those videos anymore. Uh, uh, and I'm, you're not going to hear see any videos like that anymore here. Uh, but uh, what 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 I you know I made it and I I'm not putting it up. All right, um, because I don't want to put that kind of content up here anymore. Uh, but I'm not going to accept uh, my fate. Uh, um, I may accept the fact that there's no I don't want to talk anymore about you know fighting Wall Street on here and all that stuff. But it. It doesn't change. It's, I'm not going to accept the unfairness. I'm not going to accept uh, uh, the South Shore getting all the attention. And they did get all the attention on News 12 today again. Really got me. Uh, really pissed me off. They were in Patchogue twice. Uh, and, uh, you know, one, con one segment for the uh, Mondays on Main Street. And last week they were in Rockville Center. The week before. Uh, uh, yeah, last week they were in Rockville Center. The, today uh, they were in Patchogue. Course, and then they were in Patchunk again to talk about a prom celebration. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, they, they're just that's all they care about. And they cover the pandemic, the political news, all that stuff, and they spend 12 seconds on a shooting in Elmont that happened to be deadly. Uh, but uh, that is uh, that is what that's because that's who they gear to. Uh, they gear to these people, and there's not, nothing I can do about it um, other than maybe filing a complaint against the TV station. Um, uh, other than that, just don't watch, right? Um, but I can't accept, uh, I can't accept the plan. I can't accept, I can't survive in New Jersey. It's hard enough to survive in the middle of the island, uh, let alone going somewhere way hotter than any place I've ever lived in my life. All right. And I have had such trouble with the heat this summer. Uh, um, imagine living somewhere where you're going to be exposed to it more. Imagine living somewhere where... You're going to have your power go out on a regular basis because that happens in New Jersey all the time, all right? Uh, it's not something I could ever handle, and um, I'm not, I can't deal with it. And, you know, and let's hope and pray that the middle of the island, or at least Mineola, stays safe, all right? Uh, because I'm very worried. Well, you're seeing all the crime going on, most of it in the middle of the island on the North Shore. Um, and what happens if, the, the, you know, this is part of the plan, this is real estate, Wall Street, finance, professional finance, industry redlining areas that have diversity that are blue collar uh while only taking care of these white collar mainly white areas that are on the south shore uh because that's where all the people that are moving out of the city all the white people moving out of the city are moving into all right because uh, they're trying to set up an enclave for their own kind there um uh but where it involves me is that no i'm not going to talk about it anymore but in my own personal life if it does get too dangerous here I will have to fight to live on the South Shore. I'd rather fight to live on the South Shore uh, than die in New Jersey because I will die in New Jersey. All right? There's no way I can survive in the state of New Jersey. It's very hot there. Uh, it's very, very hot there. I mean, look, well, just look at the weather. Uh, I mean, look at the kind of weather uh, that we, we, we've had today. All right. I mean, compare Long Island to New Jersey. All right. All right. And we were struggling here at 73 at Farmingdale, Dew Point 68. Uh, it hit 80 at Farmingdale, and the dew points were in the um, low 70s. All right, all right. But now let me go and let me let's look at Lakehurst. All right. Now the problem is that the weather service site uh, for Ocean County, and this is another thing. Ocean County is great, but their airport, they do such a crappy job maintaining their airport, their uh, weather station there. Uh, so let's go. Let's, uh, Lakehurst is, seems to be missing now. They're missing data. All right, they're missing some temperature data. I don't know what's going on with Ocean County and their weather readings, but here, this is what it was like in Lakehurst today. This is representative of what it is like in much of New Jersey. Near 90 degrees, look at the dew point up near 76 degrees. So worse heat, worse humidity, and your power goes out because JCPNL can't keep the lights on, all right, because it just can't provide lights. That's what JCPNL stands for, apparently. So it's very hot in Jersey, all right? There's no way I can survive there in that kind of climate. I can't survive that climate. I am struggling here to survive. Uh, and it is much more spread out. I'm going to be exposed to the environment a lot more. It's less public transportation. There's no way I can do it.
There's no way. So I no, I can't accept the plan uh, of uh, that part of the plan. No, I can't. I can't. So uh, I must stay on Long Island. And uh, uh, you know, if it gets bad in the middle of the island, then I'll have to look out and do what's right for me. Uh, I cannot change the course of 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 the way the towns are going on Long Island, but I can sh- uh, put my effort into changing my life. So if it does come down to it, and I hope it doesn't, but if it doesn't, I'll have to fight to live on the South Shore. I don't care what the certain demographic says. I don't care what people have to say. Uh, if it comes down to it, I deserve to live there. Um, it is illegal to discriminate against people with disabilities, with housing. Uh, it's actually been in the news a little bit lately. Uh, so... Uh, if that's if that's what it comes down to, then that's what I'll do because I can't survive, or maybe even go out to Suffolk. But you know the transportation out there isn't as good unless they f- improve transportation out there. Uh, but I can't survive in New Jersey, and uh, that's the bottom line. Uh, their pine barrens are beautiful, but it's too hot, uh, and you know Long Island has it have to, I have to say stay here. It's a matter of survival because I can't take the heat. I, a lot of people go to Florida. My gosh, I don't know how you do it. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, look look at the conditions they deal with in Florida. Let's go to Florida right now. I mean, it's actually not that much worse in Florida than it is here. <laughs> That's the sad thing. Let's throw the dew points in here. Uh, yeah, 70 degree dew points. So you have the 70 degree dew points. It's no different in Florida. You have the same air mass all the way up the East Coast. Uh, but it's hotter in Jersey in some ways than in Florida. It's just very, very hot in New Jersey. It's a very unique setup uh, that you have in the state of New Jersey. It's just pumps the heat in uh you know um we can just look at vintage sky and show you today we rewind today and we'll show you look at this this is three o'clock look at how look at the heat in jersey and then look at long island all right it's just because when you look at the wind flow and the way the wind flow is blowing all right so when you have a subtly or so, uh winds i'm gonna put the arrow up here uh, when you have a subtly wind or a southwesterly wind I mean, it's going in over New Jersey. It's traveling all over the land, basically, land areas, all right? So it's just gathering more and more and more heat, all right? When that same wind is going out over the ocean, which is cooler, uh, it cools off when it reaches Long Island, particularly the South Shore. And the further east you go, the more intense the effect is, all right? So it's too hot in Jersey. I can't survive that. So that's that's all I have to say. Uh, the heat has... The heat has humbled me, all right? Uh, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to be back to doing news updates or anything like that. I'm just saying I'm not going to accept living in New Jersey because New Jersey to me is a death sentence with the kind of heat they have. There's no way I can survive it. So uh, that's going to be it for this update. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, Long Island stays. This is where I want to stay, right here, all right? Right here. I deserve to stay on Long Island. I don't care all the, what all these snobby uh, people uh, think about trying to price people like us out uh, because um, that's not something I'm going to accept ever. Uh, and I'm going to be sure to, that I'm not going to let you get away with it, uh, at least for myself, even though I may not be able to change the course of uh, of of the way things are going in towns. So let's just hope that eventually everybody will be treated fairly in this. You know, favoritism and redlining will stop. But like I said, all we can do is hope and pray. Uh, and if anyone else wants to continue that fight, uh, Charlton, uh, Matt, Andy, all my colleagues out there, you want to continue it, man, uh, I support you 110%. But for myself, I have to, again, uh, go on and enjoy uh, what, all the good things about life on Long Island uh, and uh, not spend time on things that I can't change. So thank you for watching. At least I can't change it. I've, done, I've spent a lot of time on it, but uh, there's one thing I'm not going to accept is living in hell. And uh, Jersey is hell. Hell. It is hell. Hell. So, and uh, yeah, you know, that's all I got to say. So when you want to go to the Pine Barrens in the summertime, make sure you go to this place and not that other place because you're going to die there. Yow! <laughs> Thanks for watching.